Okay guys, this is just a real quick one. And um, so this is the capacitor I've been using in, uh, <clears throat> I started in the disruptive discharge experiments and uh, I worked my way up to this arrangement. I then placed this arrangement in there and I thought it was like 180 nanofarads. I just got done calculating it. That's the reason for the video. This is 198 nanofarads as calculated but it's probably right at 200 or just under, just over 200 nanos. Okay, those are Don's specs, 200 nanos. He's got two 100 nanofarad capacitors, but he has his in parallel. I had mine in series. So um, <laughs> another thought that had crossed my mind was a combination of the pair, but I'm not really going to advance it even that much further yet. First, we're going to get this sorted out. So this would be the finalized capacitor. This is a prototype test, testing capacitor. I'm going to go ahead and order like a whole bunch of 10 kV, uh, non-polarized um, mica capacitors like Don's. I saw them. They weren't all that much money. They are fairly expensive, but, you know, they're not that bad. And these are resonance capacitors. These capacitors are not really getting disruptively just discharged. They're, they are, they are, they're getting interrupted in resonance, but they're not getting disruptively discharged. They're not dumping all their energy uh, <clears throat> that I'm aware of just yet, because I don't see it happening on this coil when it's hooked up. This is running in a plasma. And I don't see the capacitor dumping there because there's no potential for disruptive discharge to discharge to earth ground it, it doesn't exist you can't short you can't discharge disruptively discharge to earth ground like it does not work so um you know it's it's interrupted resonance and that's what's happening on the cap on both the caps this one here is is well um i'm gonna have to configure the cap back in the cap is sitting over here in series but in dawn's parallel situation he's doing it here and it's he's clearly only interrupting the voltage otherwise he'd be blowing the shit out of those those gaps man i've blown up tons of those gas discharge tubes they don't last very long and that's because you're you're banging either the amps through it or both through it yeah uh, see you wouldn't even notice if you hooked that cap up um if you if you tapped on to that cap at a different like one side versus the other side, one's going to be amps, one's going to be volt. You're not even going to really know the difference. <laughs> the common person just would not know it. The way you could determine the difference is what I just did here, uh, where I got zapped, and uh, that was with the capacitor in series. And one sparks and one bangs. And two distinctly different things. One positive feed. So then very, very, very important information there that is just not available. So uh, mica capacitors are going to be ordered for that. We're going to put 200 nanos there to, according to Don's specs. This basically works exactly like Don's with a few enhancements. Um, my, my original was going from the cart design, so this was running an AC resonance with no need for the diodes. Okay? That did not give me the throughput that I wanted, not to say that it didn't work. It worked perfectly, but at low power. I don't want this to run at low power. This is a high power device. So to do that, we got to go like this, bang the two together, get the volts and the amps, play with that shit, bang it all through here, pull it out here, fill the cap, and done. Right? So there's the test cap. It's about 200 nanos. So I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and order the production caps. They have to be on there, and I have to get more diodes. So uh, like I said, it's not leaving my hands until it's freaking perfect. And when you get it, you take it and mass produce it or copy it or whatever. And if you feel you owe me something, you feel you do. And if you don't, well, whatever. I'm good. And you're good. Just get it out there. Anyways, I've displayed and explained every little aspect of it. So you can always go and get your parts. Get them all sitting there and ready for, you know, duplication. Figure out your mounting system. You don't like the cutting boards? Mount it in something else. Build your, make it your own. Here's the technology, when I'm done with it, that's purely ready to go and perform at its best. Or it's not leaving. All right, guys. That's all I got for you. Have a great day.